I am Maggie Little of the Mississippi Conference, and I am a language coordinator. My name is Pamela Berrigan. And my name is Eric Kim. We are come from Minnesota Conference. My name is Shannon Pretty. I am the language coordinator for the Indianapolis Conference. We are women of many cultures from many countries, and a language coordinator is there to bridge the gap of, of languages. We are pretty new, and this is actually our first conference that we're here to learn. Because in Minnesota, we do not have a relationship with Korean church yet, so I think this is a really great opportunity to learn uh, about the experience, about the language coordinator as a serving the area. From the Hispanic community, same as the Korean community, we do not have a language coordinator yet at a conference, and as our demographics change within the state, then we see the need that we, we have to have that representation in a conference. Our voices, that's the identity that we have. That's what we can use to speak out for those who can not speak for themselves, children, youth, and those who are marginalized or those who are minority. So our voices can be heard through other women from the UMW. We need to support each other and to learn from each other so that we can do what Jesus wants us to do. In California Pacific Conference, we have four language coordinators. And I think because our conference is so diverse and we have so many different language ministries, it's really important to see how United Methodist Women is putting an emphasis on reaching out to all groups of people. Being in, in Texas and having such a large population of Hispanics, it was an opportunity for me to voice and, and advocate for my sisters. We often do not hear the last, the lost, the least. Especially immigrant society, there are a lot of invisible ones. In our city, in San Antonio, we have a church who advocates for justice for our neighbors. UMW women who are there helping with interpreting for the ones who need help to fill out their documents. Our communities are changing. We have people from different countries, different cultures, so I think it's time for the church to bridge the gap and speak uh, across culture, speak across languages, so that we are one body of Christ. You know, I think what's really important, we talked about this morning about the relationships and how to go and to talk to people and find out what they're all about, why they're here, why God is important to them, why United Methodist Women is important to them. It's embracing themselves, embracing who they are, and to be proud of where they come from, to be proud of their heritage, and yet learn about being in a different culture, being part of a connectional congregation. Through that conversation, we can focus on how we can serve God together, how we can be together, how we can be in ministry together, and, and then we learn about those commonalities. It empowers me to empower others to use language in order to facilitate relationships. Become leaders in your community and be a proactive person for your family and yourself.